Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. This is a production of YouTube channel Learnorama and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Dev. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate if you could if you if you do so because uh, that way you could be notified of any new tutorials that I post. And uh, I would also recommend that you become the fan of the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Dev. Okay, in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to pass um, uh, how to pass the structures to a function and and actually essentially there are two two ways uh, of of doing that so hopefully we will cover uh, for in this tutorial we'll just be able to cover the um, passing by value uh, to uh, passing structure by value uh, to a function and then in the next tutorial we'll basically cover how to pass structures by reference so let's get started in the previous tutorial, uh, it's not necessary that you, you that you have to watch that tutorial because uh, it's about how to represent uh, how to access structures using pointers. Um, that's what I was talking about, but it's kind of related here also. So um, I still have that code up here. Let me let me just take the pointers out for now. Um, okay. So we were actually writing about writing a program where we were representing trying to represent a rectangle. A structure a structure that represents the data associated with the rectangle so we call it a struct rectangle and since every rectangle has two elements or two properties that actually define that particular rectangle it's its length and width we put this as the member of the structure and this way we represent a rectangle using this structure in our program okay so if I give you a length and width you can uh, uniquely you can understand which what kind of you could draw that rectangle if you will uh, so I basically kind of uh, uniquely identified what kind what rectangle I'm talking about okay so so this um, this is the struct rectangle this remember this does not actually from here to here this does not actually define any variables not even length or width it just says that how a rectangle type variable structure rectangle type variable is going to look like okay here inside this main function when we declare a variable called rect1 with this structure struct rectangle that's when we basically create a variable called rect1 which has two members length and width so the memory is actually allocated at this point for this rectangle and then we assign 10 for 10 centimeters we assign length equal to 10 and we assign width equal to 5 for this rectangle okay now suppose what I have to do is actually <coughs> excuse me I what I have to do is actually um, say calculate the area of this rectangle okay and for this I have to write a function that would basically cal calculate the area of a given rectangle okay so first thing I have to do is to to write the prototype or the header of that function what is it gonna look like okay so first thing we have to specify is what type of value it's going to return and we are talking about returning the area the computing area and returning it so the area since the since the length and width are both are integer the area which is product of length and width it has to be an integer also so it's going to return integer and what are we gonna call that function we'll call that function as area and what is it going to take length and width is that right should I write int length and int width no because we already have accumulated these two together into a rectangle so what are we gonna take as input so I have to compute the, the area of a rectangle what would be the input the rectangle itself so I have to basically pass the rectangle just like that rectangle and I'll call it any name say rect okay and then I'm going to actually finish the definition of of this function which basically says how are we going to given this rectangle rect how are we going to compute the area of that rectangle so it's very simple we know the rect dot width dot length multiplied by rect dot width 
should do the trick, right? If I multiply length with width, that's it. That will give give me the va the value of the area, right? Now remember, this rect is actually defined or declared as struct rectangle itself. It's not a pointer, so we will be using dot to access its member elements. If it were a pointer, we would use the dash greater than sign, which is kind of which is which looks like an arrow. Okay. So rect dot length multiplied by rect dot width. And how, what 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 do we do? We have to store it somewhere. So let's call it result, or let's call it yeah, let's call it result is equal to rec dot length multiplied by rec dot width. You, this is perfectly okay. You declare the variable result and you initialize it directly by computing the area. This is perfectly okay. Or you could just declare that variable result and then you say result is equal to rec dot length multiplied by rec dot width. This is all perfectly okay okay and then what we have to do we have to return the value of result okay this is it right here this defines the whole function how to compute the area and return it okay now how are we gonna use it very simple we are going to call this function area and pass some rectangle remember this is just a dummy argument this says that given this rectangle, we have we can compute it like this. But when we call it, we have to give the real rectangle. And in this case, the real rectangle is rect1. So we pass rect1, and this will compute area. But then it will return the value of the area. So we have to capture it somewhere, do something with it. Okay. So we store it in uh, rect1 area variable. Okay. And before we use it, we have to declare what it looks like. What is the type of rect1 area? What should be the type of rect1 area? It should be the same type as the return value of this area, which is integer, because area is an integer here, okay? Because length and width are integers also. And then if we want, we could basically print the area of rect1 is percent %d, and then write the variable rect1 area, because that's the variable that holds the value of area. See that? Very simple program, but it demonstrates how to pass a structure, rect1, all the way over to area. Okay? And let's run this program. I'll press F9 to compile and run it. And look at this, what it did. What it, did. it says area of rect1 is 50, and how did it work? It always starts with the main function. It declares a rect1 which means that it, it allocates the memory rect1 all right and then it what it does is we are saying that we are also declaring a variable rect1 area okay an integer and then we are initializing rect1 length equal to 10 and rect1 dot width equal to 5 so it puts the value of 10 in inside the length member element of rect1 and 5 inside the width member element of uh, of uh, of rect1 and these are hard coded values right we could have asked the user to enter those values so it just it doesn't matter and then we pass we call this function area and pass this rect1 now thing to note here is actually um let's see the thing to not note here is that let's see oops this rect1 is let's call it let's define it uh, let's draw it here rect1 and this is essentially it looks like this length and width and when we say equal to 10 and equal to 5 we are actually essentially storing 10 and 5 here and then we are calling this function rect1 so we are passing it into rect and remember this is called passing by values so what it does is is actually it creates a copy and rect becomes this thing right here and it gets the same values as this guy here and then it this function operates on rect and it computes the value 10 multiplied by 5 equals to equals 50 and it pass passes that value back and it gets stored in here and then we print it out. 
So I'll stop, conclude this uh, here, and then I will basically uh, c continue with the with this tutorial in the next video. Thank you so much.